This is a guide video on how to do the Shrine of Ancient Tears in Season 4 of Sea of Thieves with all the journal locations. You can find the Shrine of Ancient Tears near Thieves Haven at N20 on the map. When you find the lights at that location on the map, you can swim down into the water and swim to the ship wreckage that you can see as you swim down. As you get closer to the bottom here next to the ship, you'll see there is a door. You just have to hit the button and go swim through. As soon as you enter the shrine, you can head to the back area where you see this rope and you're going to go down into the shrine through this path over here. You can take a shortcut by jumping into the water in the pool in the middle. There is a ladder where you can climb out because you're going to go back on the land. Once you climb up the ladder, you'll see at this altar thing over here, there will be a book, the first journal that you need to read. So go make sure you read that. Now you're going to follow along here, you're going to go to the left, up the stairs here, keep going until you see that ladder in the distance, you're going to climb the ladder and then you're going to turn left, go up the other ladder, and then you're going to go across here, jump onto the run mushroom platform looking like things, go run around into this room, up here, through here, through here, go to the right over here, press this button which will drain the water at the bottom here, you can jump through and immediately you can swim in front of you to this altar over here where you will find the second journal that you need to read. Now you're going to take out your lantern, you're going to hold it up and you're going to light all four corners of this altar here, lighting all the torches which will open up a door on either side, left and right as you can see over here. On the right there's that red coral uh, breath of the sea thingy and then on the left is a pathway that we'll be following. So just follow along the path like I'm doing here. There's no wrong or right way. You just follow along until you get to the end. You'll get to a room that has a lever on the left side. When you open this, there'll be treasure in that room. It will open up the door and you'll be in the main chamber again. Now, once you're in the main chamber, you're going to go to all the corners here and you're going to light them on fire with your lantern. You'll see there's a corner at the bottom, corner at the top. There's another corner over here. As you can see, we're just going to be lighting these four fires. And then you're going to see there's these buttons on the corners as well. You're going to stand on these buttons. There's two and three and four. And once you've done all four of these, you'll hear a sound and you'll hear that there will be two new doorways opening that you can go explore. Now at the top section over here, you'll see this doorway in the middle has been opened up. You'll see there's like a kind of chair in the distance, but on the barrels on the right as you enter will be another journal that you can read. After reading the journal, you want to take out your lantern and you're going to light the two torches near the entrance of where you just came from. And then there'll be one on the left in the corner over here. And then if you turn around and head the opposite direction on the right, you'll see there is another one that you can light. And this will open up a new doorway that is opposite side of the main chamber right at the bottom, as you can see there. Now, once you enter this new room, you're going to head straight and you're going to see there's these four pillars that all have different shapes and animals. On the right pillar closest to you, you'll see the fourth journal that you can read is right over there. Now coming back the way we came, we're going to go left down this passageway over here. You'll see there is a torch that we can light on the right, and then we're going to walk along the passage again, and on the right, another torch. Now you do have to focus that you do this in time here because we're going to be doing the levers now. There are three levers. This is the first one next to this torch over here. Now the first torch that we lit over here has another lever next to it. You're going to pull that one as well, and then you're going to keep going straight across through this kind of like tree area here. On the left, there's a torch, and on the right, there's the lever, and when you pull that lever, and if you do this in time, this door over here should open for you to continue. Now you're going to enter this room. There will be a skeleton that you will have to fight and kill. So starting from the beginning here, you're going to have your torch. You're going to light this torch behind these rocks over here. That's the first one. On the left, there will be another one over here. And then further up ahead on the right will be a third torch. Then you're going to turn around and you're going to go to the left through the broken rubble and the coral archway over there. And there's a torch on the left directly behind that. And then you'll see there is a torch right in the middle of this T-junction over there. Then you're going to go right through this section over here and you'll see there's a torch in the distance over there and a book on the floor, and this will be your fifth and final journal that you will need to read. All right, now pay close attention. There is a lever on this wall directly in this room, so you're going to hit that one. Then you're going to go through the way that you just came on the right of the tree things. You'll hit that lever over there, go through the red archway of Garl, and you'll see the next lever, the third lever, will be right over here, and you'll see it will open up that door, but it will also open up a door towards your right, which we're going to go through the red archway again. We're going to go here, and we're going to go to the left, and you'll see there will be a new archway open up here, and you can light two torches inside this room, and that's all you need to do here. And now you're going to go through the red archway Way yet again and this time you're going to proceed through that new door that opened that we just saw right over there. Now follow along with me again as we go through this door here there is a torch on the left that you can light and you go further around this corner over here you'll see the next torch will be on the right over here 
just past the pond, and then there'll be one on the left over here. There are some skeletons that you can fight, but I'm avoiding them right now just to show you where all the torch locations are. And those are all the four that you need to do, and then you can just kill the skeletons. And now we're going to go back to where the main door was, so we're going to head past the pond again, so just follow with me here. We're going to be doing the lever, so you have to do this in time, so make sure you navigate yourself where I am. We're going to stand on this button first here, and that's going to open up a panel in the wall right over here, and we're going to flip this lever, which is quite easy, and on the right of the panel that we just stood on is another lever. Then you're going to go past this little pond with the tree thingy in it, and you're going to head all the way to the end over here, and we're going to hit and press the final lever where you see it on the wall right over there. So once you press this, a final doorway will open up over here. Now once you enter this room, there will be a skeleton to fight, so make sure you quickly kill it, and then I'll take you through to the next torches. So now you're going to follow along with me. We're at the entrance of this new room. We're going to go on the left here. We're going to light that torch, and you'll see the next torch is on the right over there. And we're going to go around this bend, this corner here. You'll see the mermaid, and on the right is another torch that we're going to need to light. And then go left of the mermaid, and around the water here, you'll see there is another torch right over there. And now it's time to do the lever. So in this water here, there is a button that you can stand on and it will open up a little window in the wall over here and you can pull this first lever right over there. And then you're gonna head around here, go back the way that we came from. You'll see there is a button on the right side over here and this will open up a, a another like window section here that you can pull a lever on. And then you're gonna head to the entrance of this cave and go to the right and you'll see there is a lever on the wall over there. And then you can head all the way to the end again, the end of the platform where you the, we found the mermaid on the left in the water here and you'll see the blue coral and then you turn right this new pathway is open here and this is basically the end you'll see if we head straight on here we'll end up into the main chamber again and if we look to the right you'll see all the torches are lit and the treasure room is here you just have to stand on the button and it will reveal the treasures behind the locked windows in the room there so you have the the chest of the ancients and some random stuff on the sides and that is everything you need to know for the shrine of ancient tears i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching